What's up everybody? My name is Vince, welcome to the channel. And today's video is one that I am super excited about because whenever we get an enormous amount of requests to go over something, I know you're excited about it. So it gets me excited. Today we have Cobalt's newest XTR line of tools. I think this is a shot across the bow from Cobalt to the other brands that they mean business. They want to be in the contractor grade segment of tools. I know you're excited, I'm excited. We're going to go over all this right after this message from our sponsor, DCG Construction. And here's the deal, anybody that's been around the channel for a while will know when it comes to the Cobalt line of tools, I'm a big fan, especially of their seven and a quarter double bevel compound sliding motor saw. It's 24 volts. It has the features built into it of much larger, more expensive offerings. If you wanted to find out more about that saw, you can go right here. I've been touting this saw. Let me tell you, that saw is a trim carpenter's dream. It's lightweight, ton of features, high capacities, it's unreal. When they released that saw, I knew that Cobalt would be looking to move up segment. They wanted to serve the tradespeople, the craftsmen. They're doing it once again, it seems, with this XTR line of tools. This is their five tool combo kit. It comes in a rolling box, which you know, I love my, my rolling boxes and bags. I will tell you this much, their rolling box has rubber coated wheels, Tradespeople that work in the commercial retail segment will know. You want to get into those malls or stores, okay? You're going to have to roll over that terraza floor or tile floor or whatever it may be. You're going to need rubber coated wheels. You're not going in there with metal wheels. You might not even be able to go in the store with plastic wheels because they could mar. This is very thoughtful. They also seem to be easily swapped out. Remove that cotter pin. I guess if they break, you could swap out them wheels. Boom. I will let you know, this is product number 1518747. Seven. You're getting a seven and a quarter circ saw. You get an impact driver. You're getting a hammer drill. You're getting a recip saw and you're getting that light. Here's one of the big, 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 big things that caught my eye. This recip saw features orbital action. They're also offering that five year tool limited guarantee. They're also touting it, the hammer drill has 50% more torque, 20% faster on the impact driver. This kit includes two batteries and a charger. The hammer drill's touting 1,200 inch-pounds of peak torque. The impact driver is touting 4,000 impacts per minute. The Cirque Saw, seven and a quarter, it's a right line of sight. I would have loved to see a left line of sight, but it is a right line of sight, 5,500 RPMs. The work light has two brightness settings, 700 and 300 lumens as well as two batteries. They have a two amp hour battery in here, which I like, especially with more compact tools like impact drivers, which would, is pretty awesome. They're also giving you a four amp hour ultimate output battery. Now, what does that mean? I would assume that that ultimate output battery includes the more advanced 21700 cells. It's going to give it more consistent amperage out of the battery. So more consistent power out of the battery to run these higher demand tools. But if we look at the hammer drill, we're looking at variable speed, no load, zero to 550 RPMs in low, zero to 2000 RPMs in high. Max torques up to 1200 inch pounds of torque. Max impacts for the hammer drill, 32,000 beats per minute or blows per minute. I like beats per minute. Chuck size is half inch. I'd like to see what it's made out of. It does have an LED light. It has got a 24 position cl clutch. It does have a quick select drill mode. Screwdriver, drill, and hammer. That's cool, I like that. The impact driver, variable speed. Zero to 1,950 RPM in low. 2,600 in, in speed two. 3,400 RPMs in high. With 4,000 impacts per minute is sounds like formidable. Of course, it's got a quarter inch hex collet. It's got an LED light. Reciprocating saw, we're looking at 3,100 strokes per minute plus orbital action. 
I don't think that there is another recip saw on the market that comes in at 3,100 strokes per minute. I think every everyone else, I think they're all limited to 3,000 strokes per minute. Leave it down in the comments section below though. Do you know a recip saw that has more strokes than that? Plus an inch and a quarter stroke length. So it's got more strokes and at least of an eighth of an inch longer than the majority because a lot top out at an inch and an eighth. It also has toolless blade change. Cirque saw, we got a cut depth at 90 degrees of two and a half inches. At 45 degrees, an inch and three quarter. The bevel is out to 56 degrees, total bevel. Speed, no load, is 5,500 RPMs. It has a rafter hook, has an LED light. I like the handle on this. Even the handle has a nice rubberized section here. The majority of the handle though is plastic or plastique, depending on who you are. This is metal. The telescoping, telescoping portion is metal. Which one of these tools in this box are you most interested in? We wanna know which videos should we make first to break them out, show off their performance, show the testing. You have to let us know. All right, let's see how this unlatches. I will tell you, I mean, it's a nice box. Cobalt here on the front. They have latches, metal latches on the sides. The lid comes off fully. It's not a hinged lid. You know, I guess I know the thought process behind it. You know, have this move back so this lid can open and all. They'd have to put a lot more money I suppose, into the carrying box, which necessarily isn't a bad thing, but would raise the cost. I don't know if I mentioned this yet, but these tools and their unreal specifications in this box, it's like only $399. It's an unbelievable value, for, in my opinion, for what you seem to be getting. But remember, it all has to be tested. Everything on paper sounds good but you know we have to put it through the ringer. We got a whole bunch of accessories here. We also have that, that two amp hour battery. It came to us, look at that, half charged. We have our hammer drill handle, really nice. Metal neck, metal attaching points, and a rubber handle, not bad. Yo, here's one, look at this. They've included a rip fence or a rip guide for your Cirque saw. I think that's a nice addition. They're giving you a lot of value for your money. It has a pull-out tray. Yo, you have to see in here. I can't believe what I'm saying. So I don't know if I'm excited for nothing. You can see this is like, this is not the, this is like a, uh, an organizer, but it looks as though it's to be removed. I can't tell if, if these blow molded inserts are supposed to stay in here, but I like that. Look, it organizes your charger and your saw. Here's what we could do. Let's get the Cirque saw out of, out of the box first. I'm gonna tell you right now, wow. It's got a nice rafter hook. They have an Allen key included for, for blade changes. The depth adjusts real easy. Whoa, the bevel, the bevel has, it just like butter. And if you look here, they have a built-in bevel adjustment, right? So you can, you can set it at 45. It locks in place and then you lock down. Yo, it's the first time I think I've ever seen anything like this. And they have a stop at 22 and a half. Yo, that's pretty cool. Metal construction here. Nice smooth shoe. Yo. That's really sweet. Let us know down in the comment section below. Do you wanna see this in high def full feature mode first? Is this the first video fully tested all by itself? Do you, that's that what you want, we wanna know. I will tell you this much. They give you a nice 24 Tifus's framing and ripping blade from Cobalt. Here is their four amp hour. Wow, okay. I'm gonna tell you right now, this four amp hour battery, it's wider, pretty much that's an indicator. They're using, instead of using upgraded 18650 cells, they're using those 21700 cells. You got a total watt hour rating of 96. Look at this four amp hour battery, very compact height wise. The charger is just a little guy, it's just a little guy, okay? It's, this is not their rapid charger. 
I don't believe. I don't think unless they've upgraded the, the smaller form factor charger. This is probably not fan cooled. It just starts charging. There's no fan. I think some people will take out this these blow molded inserts and just throw the tools in the box. I, I don't know that I would do that. I will tell you this much though. They have it situated with this piece of foam. I personally probably would not. I mean, I think, I don't know. Like, I can't see myself putting that piece of foam back each and every time to hold the tools in place. I gotta tell you, I like the form factor on this light. I like the articulating head. They have a little hook here. Okay, so you could hang this thing. You could hang it from a whole bunch of stuff. It would be nice, and I know I'm asking for a lot, especially at this price. This is unreal. I was gonna say, it would be nice if it had magnets. And it does, it's got magnets. I love magnets, I gotta tell you, like magnetism. Wow, this thing's bright and low. Yo, I like the fact that there's magnets. I just do. That's, that's an, once again, that's an att attention to a, to a detail, in my opinion. This is the impact. I'm gonna tell you, this impact has some girth. It's three speeds. It has assist mode. Boom. I am going to take a wild guess that this is a quick insert collet. There is dual ball bearings inside this collet. If you wanna see more about this impact driver, confirm if this is quick insert, see how collet retention is. Let us know down in the comments section below. I love the smell of new tools in the morning. Let's move on to the new Cobalt XTR hammer drill. This thing is boasting some impressive numbers as well. I will tell you this much. I do not mind, I, I almost prefer the second ring. I feel like as you're using the tool, if the clutch and the, and the, and the modes are on the same ring, I feel like there's been a high probability that that ring gets spun by accident and goes from being in, in like drill mode into driver mode. And then all of a sudden the clutch is kicking in. I will tell you, it does have a nice metal chuck. It is, in case you're wondering, Jacobs swapped the battery. Let's put the battery on there. You can see here's speed one, here's speed two. Okay, and over here we have drill mode. Then we have driver mode. We have hammer mode. And here's our, well, that's pretty funny. So you can set your clutch to any speed you want. And if you were, here's the deal. What's, what's great about having those rings separate is, if you're using the same drill driver, hammer drill driver, two, here, you ready for this? Drill a hole, okay? Then you're gonna swap it out or you have a, a flip style drill driver attachment in here. You then can switch out of your drill modes into your drive mode, have your clutch already set, boom. Instead of running through from drill mode or hammer mode down to a driver mode, finding that which driver mode, then setting your screw, that extra ring might make the tool a little bit bigger, but it could be a time saver. Now, let's move on to, this is one that I, I'm really excited about. Uh, I'm gonna let everybody know though, immediately. It's not overly heavy. This thing is ri ridiculous. So we have quick, wow, this thing is ridiculous. Yo, let me know if this is the one you wanna see first. I gotta take this out of here. I wish this thing came with more batteries so I don't have to keep on swapping them around. Yo, this one, okay, number one, has a nice bright LED light. Knew it already. Look at that, look at the size of that LED. Another great feature is that we have an adjustable shoe. What does that mean? Number one, and it, it articulates, but it's adjustable in and out. So you're going to be able to use more teeth it has such a long stroke. You're gonna be able to use more teeth on your recip saw blade. Very, very important. It has, look at this. Toolless blade change looks very, like very easy, very intuitive. Plus that orbital action switch. Let us know 
down in the comment section below. Is this one the first one you want to see expanded on? Yo, look at this. And it's got trigger lock. Really, really, like, this thing is so, like, I got to tell you, I can't wait to, I have, there's another compact recip saw, specs-wise, and where the rubber meets the road, really does well. I feel like this would be a great competitor to that saw. Well, there you have it. These are the new XTR offerings. We want all of your feedback in the comment section below. Which ones do you want to see more of? immediately. We want to make that happen. You've been asking for this. We finally got it in here. With that, I want to say I appreciate each and every one of you for being here. Thanks a lot, everybody. We'll see you all on the next one. Video's over, but I know you want more. So this is how you're going to get it. First thing you need to do is pretend you're this guy. And you're here at the birthplace of freedom. Now ring that bell like it's 1776 and let all notifications through. What? You're not subscribed yet. Well, smash this button here. After that, watch this video here, here, and maybe over here. See you later.